Hello guys, welcome back to another video with me. This is Kaman and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to speak fast and sound like a native. Before we start, you answer to my question. Do you need to speak fast to sound like a native? Or do native speakers actually speak that much fast? Well, the answer is no. You don't need to speak fast to sound like a native. And native speakers don't speak as fast as you think. They use a technique that you don't know about it. So let me teach you this technique in this video. And after that, you sound more like a native speaker. Native English speaker, what do they do to sound like that? And we don't get what they say. Well, they omit some syllables some words and some letters or even sometimes they add something to the word or sentence. So this is what is called connected a speech. They just connect all the words together instead of splitting them up. Which when they connect the words together it sounds very natural and smooth. How does this work? Let me show you so you can connect your words together. And sound like a native speaker. How do you say the sentence? Probably you would say, What do you do? What do you do? Yes? But native speakers never say that. They don't say, What do you do? They just say, What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Mr. So the speed, the pace is just the same but they connect everything together and they sound like what they sound. So we can understand what they're saying, but if you focus and if you practice a little bit more, you will understand what they say. Another phrase, I am going to. For example, I'm going to do some shopping. They never say, I'm going to do some shopping. They say, I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm gonna do some shopping. And sometimes, maybe you hear this phrase, I'ma do some shopping, I'ma do some shopping. Crazy, huh? Yes, I know, a little bit it's crazy. But with practice, you're gonna get better. Another example would be the article, the, the. This article may sound like the, the. What's the weather today? What's the weather today? What's the weather today? Native speakers wouldn't say that never ever. What do they say? They say, What's the weather today? What's the weather today? Do you see? It sounds like the, the. It doesn't sound like the, the. You sometimes sounds like yeah, yeah. Do you want to go for a walk? How do Americans actually say this sentence? They say, Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? So, you becomes ya yeah, and want to connect and it becomes wanna. Wanna. Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Another example, and this is an interesting example. Look at this sentence, what do you do? What do you do? We have T at the end of the word what. Whenever we have T plus D together, the Americans invent a new sound. And that is CH. What you do? And this is what all native speakers do to sound smoother, to speak easier. For example, what you do for a living? What you do for a living? They don't say, what do you do for a living? They say, what you do for a living? Let's make it clear for you. I'm gonna read a sentence for you. The first time as a student. And the second time, I'm gonna read it a little bit closer to native speakers. And I'm gonna try to sound like a native. So, listen and hear the difference. I'm going to go out to Walmart. Do you need anything? And this time, as a native speaker, I'm going to go out to Walmart. Do you need anything? See, 
I just connect all of them together to sound closer to a native speaker. I replaced I'm going to with I'm a or I'm gonna go to or I'm a go to I'm a go to Walmart. I've connected Walmart with do. We have a word that ends with T, Walmart, and a word that starts with D, Walmart, D, Walmart. Word Ch between Walmart and do. I'm gonna go to Walmart. Do you need anything? Let's go to the next word. This word a little bit confusing, especially if you hear it for the first time when a native speaker say it. They sometimes add something to the words, like something. Sometimes they say something. Really? Yes. Go and review all the movies you have watched and you will see that most of them, maybe not all of them, say something. They add a P sound between some and think, something. But there's something missing. I don't know exactly why this appears, but this is the way the language evolves when people speak it. This is sometimes what native speakers say. Can you give me something? The next phrase is, let me give you something. Let me give you something. Native speakers wouldn't say that in any condition. They say, let me give you something. Or even, let me give you something. Basically, they connect let me to let me. Let me. Give you, no, give you. Let me give you something. And they add P between some and thing. Let me give you something. Let me give you something to help you rest, Mike. And the next one is really interesting. If you have the letter T in the middle of a word, pronounce it as a D. You don't pronounce T. Letter, letter. Letter, we don't say letter, we say letter. Because it's really faster and it's really smoother than just saying letter. Letter. Your letter. City becomes city. City becomes city. Only widow in Gotham City. Bitter. You don't say bitter. You say bitter. Bitter. In British English, they always say bitter. But in American English, we say bitter. Bitter. Let me give you some more examples. Bottle. Bottle. We don't say butter, we say butter. Butter, butter. We don't say butter, we say butter. Computer, 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 computer. Daughter, 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 daughter. Forty, forty. Little? Little. In this case, in this word, we sometimes even don't say little. We say little. We don't say a little bit. We say a little bit or we say a little bit. We sometimes even just delete the sound T. Settle? Settle. We don't say settle. We say settle. Thirty? Thirty. You see, this T converts to D all the time, and it's really unnatural to say little, unless you are British. So, this, you know, this process will automatically, automatically, no, automatically, try to practice and shadow what native speakers say. Shadowing is the best thing you can do to improve your pronunciation and your speaking skills. And in my channel, we will have more videos of shadowing in the near future. So I have a task for you. Please write in the comments any words that has T in the middle. You can find it from Google, that's fine. But make sure to comment it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye for now.